More than 5 million students will be reading their GCSE results with a mixture of glee and relief today. This year is the first since the coronavirus pandemic struck that students' grades will be based on national exams as opposed to teacher-predicted grades. Although marks are due to be given more generously this year, last week, on August 18, the number of students receiving top A-level grades fell sharply. It is expected that GCSE grades will see a similar downwards trend as the government tries to reverse grade inflation. GCSEs, DEX, Technical and Tech Awards can feel like a monumental turning point in someone's life, despite many of those receiving them being aged just 16. However, they are not always the be-all and end-all, as noted by author and journalist, Elizabeth Day. In her book, Philosophy, she explores avenues for when things simply go wrong. Writing in the book, she notes, failure continuously teaches us who we are. It is nothing to be scared of. Failure has been the making of me. It might just be the making of you too. Many celebrities have proven that good grades do not have to govern future success with many either failing at least one of their GCSEs or leaving without any at all. Each year on A-Level Results Day, Jeremy Clarkson puts out his message to students who may fear the grades staring back at them from the piece of paper have secured their fate. The former Top Gear presenter's annual tweet read this year, Don't worry if your A-level results are disappointing. I got a C and to us and am currently holidaying on this boat. Mr. Clarkson, who is now thought to be worth approximately 55 pounds. 8 million, is not the only one who flunked his exams. Former TOWIE star Gemma Collins, who recently signed a £1 million new look deal, completely failed her maths GCSE, winding up with a U, which stands for unclassified or ungraded, on results day. But the GC, as she is now more commonly known, admitted she knew she would be famous so did not need maths, instead her mind was on shopping during the exam. In an interview with You magazine in 2018, she said, I remember sitting in the exam room for my maths GCSE and thinking, I'm going to be famous, I don't need maths. What I really need is to go down Romford High Street and buy new shoes. Pop sensation Robbie Williams had received good predicted grades, ranging from AC. Unfortunately, the Angels singer failed all of his exams, with his best result being a D, but luckily he had just got into hit band Take That. He told The Mirror in 2019, Me and my friend Lee just got our exam results and we both failed really badly. We didn't know how we were going to tell our parents. So we went to the bottle shop and bought 10 each of the cheapest cans of bitter we could buy and sat on the green and just necked these bitters. They wanted me to go to university. I went back to my mom, pissed, and said that I had something to tell her, and she said she had something to tell me dash you were in the band. Royal family live, that is a smack at Harry. Meghan did not want to listen to husband Meghan Markle did not want to listen to Prince Harry when he tried to tell her about life in the royal family, a royal expert claimed. Royal expert Angela Levin said the royal family is about ambition in sense of duty and giving and not about getting to the top. And Simon Cowell, who has been on the Sunday Times Rich List more than once, similarly failed to meet the mark. The 62-year-old left school with three O-levels, the qualification that GCSEs replaced in 1988. 
businessman and member of the House of Lords, Alan Sugar, left school at 16, with just one GCSE. And Richard Branson similarly left education at 16 and is worth a reported £4. 2 billion, as Lord Sugar reminded his followers in 2017. The Apprentice boss tweeted, dagging the Virgin Group founder, they are examples of what can happen in spite of few grades. He wrote, GCSE results. If you didn't get the grades don't panic. At Richard Branson didn't get any I never went to UNI. Get on with what you're good at.